Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today using a jailbroken app called iCleaner Pro, I'm going to show you how to thoroughly clean your iPhone or iPad running iOS 7. Okay, before you do this tweak, you need to jailbreak your phone obviously. So if you haven't done that, please click on the link beneath this video uh, on our site to be taken to that procedure, complete it, and then come back to this one to continue. First we need to open the Cydia store. Then we're going to tap on manage, the right here. And then we need to basically add the repository that will then let us search through it to find the app that we want. So we're going to hit edit, add. And we're going to add the following. Exile 90 software.com slash Cydia slash beta slash. And then hit add source. Hit return to Cydia. Now you should see it in our list. We're gonna tap search at the bottom right. And then we're gonna search for iCleaner Pro. Then tap install, tap confirm, and wait for that to download and install. Then hit return to Cydia when that's done. Hit home this and swipe over and you should see iCleaner Pro. Tap on that. Then you can use this to clean up the files on your phone. Uh, so message attachments uh, might be a little confusing but basically what this does is it removes all of the attachments you ever get by MMS and iMessage. Um, if you tap smart it'll only delete the ones that don't currently appear in a message so in other words they're from a while ago um, and then which is probably a good one to do at smart. Uh, then there's on which just deletes all of the messages. So if there's a bunch of messages that are in your um, messages or your iMessages or whatever that you don't really need to see those, those photos, let it just do on and get rid of all of them. We're gonna do smart. Uh, and then Safari deletes Safari data, applications, application data that's not uh, being used. Cydia, Cydia application data that's not being used. Um, Cydia sources, unused dependencies, things in other words that you've downloaded that are no longer being used by apps and that kind of stuff. Um, and temporary files, other things that are just kind of standard. Once you've selected what you want to select, you just hit clean. And wait for it to finish its little cleaning. And once it's done, it'll give you a little kind of thing showing what you've done. It removed 220 megabytes of stuff, 3,000 and something files. Um, then it's going to have to restart when you click OK. So wait for that to happen. And once it reboots, it's cleaned up a lot of that stuff and you should have a little more free space uh, besides the normal stuff like cleaning apps and photos and all that fun stuff. Um, if you do want some more tips on uh, cleaning your storage up, you should check out our post uh, linked in this video that'll show you how to remove photos and back them up so you don't lose them before you remove them because that's usually the biggest culprit of space. But this app's pretty neat and helps get a little bit of extra stuff too. So enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.